Good evening, you lovely people. William Murphy here. And uh, I just wanted to give a quick update because I've had a few issues with my engine. So, um, first of all, oh, where have we gone? First of all, I couldn't get the thing started. Um, I'd get it started and it wouldn't run. So, um, the lovely guys of YouTube, um, Paul Jeffries, Paul P, Mini Tom, um, Adam Campion, Dave Jag, and well, just, just everybody. Thank you so much. It now works where, stand over here, I can turn the key. Get on the back. Into that. I'm a bit annoyed that this isn't more that way, but the engine runs. I had a slight mishap with the carburetor. Turn it off so you can hear me. Now, the issue with the carb was the actual float itself wouldn't return. Like a death trap walking around here, I need to tidy up. So, the carburetor itself, where's the body gone? Here's the body. This is the body of the carburetor. And uh, what was happening was, you have in the bottom here your needle. It was going so far and getting stuck. Now the suggestion was that the carb needle itself was bent. But, I took it out, I used it on a flat surface, I rolled it back and forth. And um, if that was bent, then I need my eyes testing because I couldn't see a, a fault were wrong with it at all. Um, I've got a couple of carbon needles here, and you know that one there, that is bent. It has a, a kink in the bottom. Um, yeah, that is knackered. So that one there's scrap, but the other one I thought I can't be. You know, there's nothing wrong with that one. So. The carburetor sits into that float, but on the bottom of it, or on the needle sits into that float, on the bottom of it, they have this little cap, this plastic cap here. Now that, on my one, had a crack in it. Now, where the crack came from, it might have been over-tightened at some point, I don't know, but that was causing the needle to go skew with. So when it got so far into the actual um, carburetor, it wouldn't go any further, but as if it was sort of stuck. So I stripped it down, the guys sort of made a few suggestions, I checked this, I replaced this, and uh, it's now back in the car. All six bolts are back on, uh, the dash pot, three there and then three actually on the carburetor dash pot. Um, I checked it all over, I made sure I was getting fuel to the car, made sure I was getting spark, um, and yeah, I am absolutely ecstatic. You guys are awesome. So this really, this video here is really just a shout out for you guys. Um, a massive thank you for getting me sorted. And um, yeah, just a huge thank you to this amazing community I'm in. The mini YouTube scene is fantastic. If you want to be part of it, you've got to start uploading videos. So yeah, thank you guys. That's a quick one for tonight. Um, and I thought I'd just leave it there. So if you have enjoyed this video, as always, Click the thumbs up button, comment down below, and if you can, subscribe to the channel, where hopefully we will get this car sorted in time for IMM, which is currently two weeks and two days, and I'm breaking it. So, that's it. I will see you guys later. Take it easy, have a lovely evening, and um, if you're out and about in the minis, because it's beautiful weather outside, enjoy them. Me, I'm going to go sit down, I've had a blood test, I'm gone. See you later.